Welcome to another video on Bridge Engineering on All About Bridges' YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss which type of bearing should be adopted for a certain type of railway girder or road over bridge girder. The discussion will be based upon the guidelines issued by RDSO in this regard through BS131, that is Guidelines for Selection of Bridge Bearings for Railway Bridges and Road Over Bridges. Bearings are crucial components in bridge construction as they facilitate movement, accommodate loads, and help in the longevity and stability of the structure. Table 1 of these guidelines discusses the suitability of various types of bearings based upon their type, load, rotation and movement requirement, durability factors, life cycle cost, and service life potential. Now we will explain this table covering each type of bearing one by one. 1. Fabricated steel bearings, pin-fixed, rocker, or roller. These bearings are suitable for low to medium load applications, with a load capacity of up to 265 tons. They can accommodate high rotational movements with no limit and allow high translational movement with no restriction. However, they lack multi-directional movement capability making them less adaptable for certain bridge structures. They perform well under cyclic loads, but have low resistance to corrosion, particularly in harsh environments. To mitigate corrosion, the use of stainless steel, galvanization, or metallizing techniques is recommended, and an oil bath can further enhance durability. Cost-wise, their initial investment is categorized as B, with moderate maintenance costs. These bearings have a long service life in less corrosive areas, but may degrade faster in corrosion-prone environments. 2. Steel Reinforced Elastomeric Pads These bearings also cater to low to medium loads, ranging from 30 to 220 tons. They allow medium rotational movement, up to 0.02 radians, and limited translational movement, up to 60 millimeters. They support multi-directional movement, making them more flexible in accommodating structural shifts. They offer high resistance to cyclic loads and movement, as well as strong resistance to corrosion. Proper quality control is required during manufacturing and installation to avoid defects. These bearings have the lowest initial cost, Category A, and require low maintenance. They are highly durable and provide a long service life, making them a cost-effective solution. Third, POT PTFE bearings. Designed for high load applications ranging from 20 to 1780 tons, they can sustain high rotation movements, up to 0.04 radians, and unlimited translational movement. They support multi-directional movement, making them highly adaptable for complex structures. The primary durability concern is wear of the sliding surface, requiring moderate maintenance. Exposed POT and piston surfaces need protection from corrosion. Internal sealing rings help mitigate wear and leakage issues. Proper manufacturing control is essential, including improved sliding surfaces and metallized surfaces for corrosion protection. The initial cost is categorized as C higher than other types, with moderate maintenance costs. These bearings have a moderate service life, but their enhanced movement capabilities make them essential for long-span bridges. 4. Spherical Bearings Load Capacity These bearings are designed for high-load applications with a capacity ranging from 20 to 1,780 tons. Rotation and Movement they offer unlimited rotational and movement capacity, making them highly versatile for structures that experience large deformations. Multidirectional movement. They support multidirectional rotation and movement, allowing adaptability to complex bridge structures. Durability factors. The sliding surface experiences low wear, making them relatively long-lasting under normal conditions. The corrosion resistance is moderate particularly for exposed steel elements, which may require additional protection. 
Production and operational defects can arise due to PTFE wear and improper mating of surfaces affecting long-term performance. Mitigation measures. Proper design and construction are essential for their efficient functioning. The sliding surfaces should be improved and metalized for corrosion protection and enhanced durability. Initial cost. These bearings fall under Category D, indicating a higher initial investment compared to other types. Maintenance costs. Maintenance requirements are moderate, involving inspections and surface treatments to prevent degradation. Service life potential. The overall lifespan of spherical bearings is considered moderate, requiring periodic maintenance to sustain performance. BS 131 further contains Table 2, titled Suggested Bearing Types for Particular Girder Types, which provides guidance on selecting appropriate bearing types for different bridge girder structures based on their material and span length. 1. Steel Plate Girder Railway Bridge Spans up to 24.4 meters recommended bearing types. 1. Steel Sliding Bearing This type of bearing is suggested for areas with low corrosion risks. However, in regions where corrosion is prevalent, proper corrosion mitigation measures need to be implemented to extend the service life of the bearings and prevent structural deterioration. 2. Steel Reinforced Elastomeric Bearing with Anti-Slip Devices This is a more robust and flexible option incorporating an elastomer, rubber-based material, reinforced with steel plates. The anti-slip feature ensures that the bearing remains in place under dynamic loads and prevents excessive movement, which is crucial for railway applications. Double asterisk note says, steel sliding bearing should not be replaced by elastomeric bearing in existing spans, where already sliding bearing is there. Elastomeric bearing should be provided in cases of construction, replacement of superstructure. 2. PSC, pre-stressed concrete girder, railway bridge spans up to 24.4 meters. Recommended bearing, types, one steel, reinforced elastomeric bearing. This bearing is designed to provide flexibility while supporting heavy loads. The elastomeric material allows for small deformations and helps in absorbing vibrations caused by train movement. Second pot PTFE bearing. This is a high-performance bearing that consists of a pot, housing an elastomeric disc, and PTFE, polytetrafluoroethylene, to allow smooth sliding movement. It is ideal for bridges that require meaningful rotation and translation movements while accommodating high loads. 3. Steel Concrete Composite Eye Girder, Railway Bridge, spans up to 30.5 meters, recommended bearing. Type 1. Steel Reinforced Elastomeric Bearing. Similar to the recommendation for PSC girders, this bearing type is suggested for steel concrete composite girders. It provides load distribution, flexibility, and shock absorption, which is essential for railway bridges that experience dynamic train loads. 4. Steel Open Web Girder, Through and Underslung Girder, spans 30.5 meters and above recommended bearing types. 1. Steel Rocker and Roller Bearing This type is suggested for areas with less corrosion risk. However, in corrosion-prone zones, additional protective measures should be implemented to ensure longevity. 2. Spherical Bearing with PTFE, polytetrafluoroethylene, or similar material at the sliding interface. This bearing facilitates smooth movement while distributing loads efficiently. To prevent deterioration, corrosion protection measures must be applied to exposed portions. 5. Rail Cum Road Bridges Recommended bearing type 1. Spherical bearing with PTFE or similar material at sliding interface. Since Rail Cum Road Bridges experience combined vehicular and railway loads, a spherical bearing with PTFE is recommended to accommodate multidirectional movements and high loads. As these bearings may be exposed to harsh environmental conditions, corrosion protection should be ensured. 6. Steel Concrete Composite I Girder, Road Over Bridge, 
ROB, spans up to 36 meters. Recommended bearing types, 1. Steel reinforced elastomeric bearing. This bearing is flexible, durable, and provides excellent load distribution, making it suitable for composite structures. Second, PUT PTFE bearing, a high capacity bearing designed to withstand large vertical loads and accommodate horizontal movements and rotations. If exposed to a corrosion prone environment, additional protective measures should be taken. 7. Bowstring girder, R OBE. Spans 42 meters or more. Recommended bearing types. 1. Spherical bearing with PTFE or similar material at the sliding interface. This bearing helps in distributing loads efficiently and facilitates smooth movement. However, exposure to corrosive conditions requires protective measures. Second pot PTFE bearing. Given the large span of 42 meters or more, these girders require a bearing that can support high vertical and horizontal forces while permitting necessary movements. Corrosion mitigation should be implemented where required. The guidelines give further notes in this regard, which are as follows. 1. The bearing chosen should be compatible with the design loads, horizontal movement, and rotation. The above suggestion is indicative only, and decision regarding the use of particular bearings should be done on the basis of site and design requirements and ability of a particular bearing to fulfill those requirements. 2. The type of girders given in Table 2 above are based on types which are typically being used for a particular span length in standard drawings of RDSO at present. There might be instances when other type of girder might be used for span length range indicated in above table due to site requirement or any other requirement. In such cases, the decision of suitable bearing should be done accordingly. 3. The life of POT, PTFE, and spherical bearings depend upon the life of sliding materials which is stipulated in terms of Accumulated Sliding Path, ASP. ASP can be calculated based upon current and projected traffic, and the life of bearing can be assessed accordingly. This issue is likely to govern selection of bearings for long-span bridges. 4. Above suggestions are only recommendatory. Due diligence shall be carried out for selection of suitable type of bearing for a particular bridge. This was all about the current topic. Tell us your topic in comment section on which you want to watch a video. Subscribe for more such content.